Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on continuing the quests starting with the first battle. So if we, I bring up the quest journal you'll see it's this one here, the first battle. Craft any weapon, cudgel or stone mace and go to, and go to explore the world. So that's what we're going to do because we need to um, fight. Uh, in the hints it says the mace is more powerful than a cudgel but you cannot dodge attacks when using a mace. Coins can be obtained by killing goblins so guess what we're going to be fighting. And last but not least down here, oh there's loads more in fact not last but not least, use hotkeys on your keyboard to change weapons quickly which is what we're doing here with the tools. Uh, for that place the desired object in one of the first access cells in the left bottom corner of the screen. To get through the forest thicket, cut down your way with an axe. Uh, to navigate the terrain, use your map. To open the map, open the character window, or just press the M key actually to cut that short. Okay, so let's have a look at these two weapons that we can make, because I'm sure you are interested and curious to know what the weapons are. So, first of all, we have the cudgel. To make that, we need one log, and our knife. So let's make that. Okay, so we'll just wait for this progress bar to get up. Now, if we look at the recipes and the stone mace, I'm just making sure that I've got the materials for that, which I have. So we need one stick, one rope, and one stone. Cool, so we'll be able to make that straight after this is finished. And then we'll put the weapons side by side and take a look at their damage and their how quick they are. Okay, there's the cudgel. Let's. Oh, you have to close this window before you can pick it up. Do you notice that? You can't click take all. So if I cancel that, there we go, got the cudgel. Right, let's go to recipes, stone mace, select this, and okay. Okay, so here's our cudgel. Damage 15, attack speed 0.63. In fact, you know what, while we're waiting for the other one to be built, because yes, you can craft in your inventory and continue on doing other things. So I've got the cudgel now equipped. See that rabbit, Scarpa, as soon as I equip that weapon? Did you see the smoke from its feet running? Okay, so let's give it a go on this little bunny rabbit. Oh, that's fucking can catch him. You see, we're running but they run much quicker so we're going to want the bow eventually to get creatures like this oh I can't see him he's gone in there and it's dark oh he's down by the water oh right so our crafting of the um, other weapon is done let's cancel that let's take Okay, let's put these side by side and take a look at them. So there's the cudgel, damage 15, attack speed 0 0.63, stone mace damage 20, and exactly the same swing speed. So no brainer for which one I'm going to use. Of course, remember that with the cudgel you can dodge, with the mace you can't, but I still prefer to use the mace and I'll show you why. So, okay, now I'm going to leave the bunny rabbits alone because they run far too quickly, okay? And I, one thing about fighting creatures like that that run away, they'll run into an area where there's aggressive creatures, so while your mind is on that little bunny rabbit, uh, you're running along, all of a sudden you've got three or four other aggressive hostiles that have 
joined in the the race. But they'll want to kill you, not the rabbit. So be very wary of that. Okay, so over here, I think it was, we see a goblin. No, in fact, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So let's head back to the beach. And we're looking for goblins or any other... Cri well, no, it has to be goblins because we need coins. If I go back to the quest, you see that we need 15 copper coins and 5 gold coins. They can only be got from goblins. Oh, look, the rabbit was going for a swim. Right, okay, so to get over there, I'm going to need to equip the axe and cut my way through. One thing to bear in mind, before you go into a fight, never go into a fight with your stamina below 50% else there is a good chance you'll be killed because you need your stamina to fight with so that was a perfect example of how you can disrupt the terrain to make yourself a nice little pathway through the forest how beautiful is that Right, okay, now let's see if there's some hostiles. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a goblin, so we're going to switch to our weapon. Now, there's a little trick I use with fighting. Rule number one, always view from as far away as you can, because if there's more than one creature there, they're all going to aggro you. What you want to do is pull them one at a time, so wait for them to walk apart from each other. Next, when you pull the creature, is a great distance away, it'll start running. Time your attack. So, let's get his attention. There we go. Now, before he gets to me, start to swing. See that? I got a free hit in. That's what you want to do. That's effective fighting. And if I do the space bar, you see he's dropped two copper coins. So, we're off to a great start. Now, I do love the combat in Force of Nature. And you're going to see why, because there's some tricks you can use to your advantage. And I'm talking about the terrain. But anyway, let's find another gob. Oh, there's a chicken. Chickens are tameable. They will give us eggs, I believe. Now you've got to be careful, when you're walking through the forest, you can be attacked by different creatures from different angles. Uh, to give you a few, you could be attacked by a bear, or a fox, or a boar. Uh, not to forget, of course, the goblins. So there's lots of things in this forest that want you dead. Your job, of course, is to stay alive. Oh, there's another goblin. How cool is that? Here he comes, take my swing and get a free hit. There we go, what's he dropped? Three more coins, so it don't take long. Notice my health isn't too bad, even with zero armour on. Yeah, no, I won't bother with the wheat till we can start planting it and do a farm. Okay, there's some more ore over there. From a glance, it looks like iron ore. But of course, the only way to find out is to go over and mine a little. Oh, there's another gob goblin over there in the top right. Let's see what this is. I think this is iron by the looks of it. Yeah, it is. So we won't worry about that. I've got iron already. Okay, switch back to the weapon. Now, see that? There's two free goblins over there. If I aggro all of them at the same time, I'm dead. So the idea is... Oh, look, there's another one over there. So he's the ideal candidate. Let's see if I can get his attention. Oh, there's two, in fact. Yep, there we go. See that? I only pulled one. And then, yep, there was two. Free swing. 
Now some of the goblins run away, which is not good, because they won't go and aggro more goblins, but they'll just simply run away so they can heal up. So what you have to do occasionally is follow the creature to finish it off, otherwise it'll come back for you. Well, when you wander past that location it's gone to, it will attack you again. And it's helpful have regenerated some. Okay, where's that other goblin? I'm being very careful as I walk because if you get too many jump you. Now here's the tri a trick then. Let's show you a little combat trick. What you can do is cut a narrow path through... Ah, where did he come from? Cut a narrow path through the terrain so only one creature can get to you at a time. So if I do get jumped by loads, I still won't have to worry because they'll only be able to attack me one at a time. Now I'm hoping that that should be good enough. Let's see. I'm not sure if the bushes are close enough together for this to work. Uh, what I'll do is chop this tree down. No, I shouldn't need to, in fact. I should be able to duck in there. Okay, so for coins, how are we doing? I've got eight. I still need five gold. My health is still good. No, they're too close together. I'll have to wait for them to walk apart. But this one's on its own, so let's aggro him. Oh! See, this one's a bit tougher, so he must be a higher level. Okay. My health is still okay. But what I'll do is eat an apple. Alright, let's see if we can aggro this one. Oh, I've aggroed him alright. I've aggroed two. So, let's see in here. No, the bushes don't work. It's too, they're too far apart. So you can handle two goblins. But more than that, I think you'd have serious problems. Okay, so we've got gold coins and copper coins. Cool. We only need three more gold coins. Okay, let's do our health by eating a strawberry. Plus, with it being so dark, it would be suicide to run into that uh, bit of the forest where all them goblins are. Let's come back this way. I oh, know it's safer. Okay, let's eat another strawberry. And another strawberry. I'm going to keep munching strawberries till my health comes back. Well, I'll eat an apple next because I still need to get some more stamina as well. I'm sorry about the darkness. Little I can do about that. Okay, let's eat an apple this time. You will have noticed there's loads of apple trees over here as well that I can cut down and get a load more apples. Oh, now it's getting light. Good. Okay, let's eat another strawberry. And then I should be good to go. Especially as we can see what we're doing now. Okay, so let's see if we can find another goblin. Because we still need three gold coins and four copper. Which I'm hoping I can do before the timer goes. Who did I kill all the goblins? Oh no, here's one. Ah, here's one that runs off. So we'll follow him. But you see what happens? 
If you follow them too far, you'll get overwhelmed. Oh, there's the timer as well. It's telling me my timer's run out. Right, let's have a look. What was that? Gold coin. Cool. Let's see if we can find that one that run off. Oh no. See, there's loads over there. So that's the one that got away, for sure. For sure. Okay, well, I'll end the episode here because the time is gone and we'll carry on this little hunting trip in the next episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.